I have some etching projects to do today. Welcome back to Lima Bean Living. If you guys are new here, my name is Emily. Welcome to my little motherhood channel where I take care of all things mom. In today's video, I'm going to be doing some etching projects using glassware from the Dollar Tree and Armor Etch. It is a little creamy substance that you put on glass and it kind of takes away the shiny element, leaving a kind of matte, cloudy finish. And the Dollar Tree actually sells some too. I did pick up some a while ago and I will be trying that on one of my many projects today. So I will give you guys a little short and sweet review of that. And the three projects that I hope to get done today, and if I don't, you will definitely be able to find the tutorials on my crafting channel, Lima Bean Crafting. But the main one that I need to get done today, the first one I will be doing for sure, is working on these little mugs. So. I only have one right now, and this is gonna be my test kind of mug for my parents' 40th anniversary. My siblings and I are throwing them a surprise party, and I took a design from their wedding photo, and I want to put it on the little glass mug, and this will be the favor for everyone that attends their little party. I'm really excited about this one because I know that like when I go to like weddings or anything that gives you a favor, I want it to be like, I don't know, like less personalized, if that makes sense. Like not like put someone's name or whatever, cause I know then it probably won't be used that much. And so putting a design that has no words or anything like that, but is just special to the wedding ceremony, but it still just kind of looks cute as is. I'm really excited about that. And I think the people who attend will enjoy their favor and probably use it more frequently uh, going forward. So like I said, this is gonna be our test one. I wanna make sure I get the sizing right. And then I did order like a huge pack of these from the Dollar Tree and I will be etching them later. But if I can get it right today, then I can cut out all of the labels and keep this a secret from my parents until the special day. This video obviously will be airing after our party. So, you know, mom and dad, I hope you enjoyed the little mugs that I made for you and and enjoyed your special day as well. The other two projects that we'll see if I get done today is working on a Mother's Day mug for my sister. She wanted a mug like this, but with stars kind of all over it. So I'll probably use some of the Dollar Tree etching cream and then some of the Armor Etch on some of the stars. And we'll just kind of see, you know, does it all look the same? or does one stand out better than the other? But either way, it will either be uniform or add some kind of dimension. So I think that this will be the perfect way to try out that Dollar Tree etching cream. And honestly, I think I'm getting in over my head. I also wanted to etch this plate and I don't even have the design for it yet. So I think I'm gonna hold off on this, kind of keep my attention on the glassware of the mugs, I mean. Um, but I'm gonna pose this again to get some input from you guys. I only had one response in my last video where I mentioned this, so I'm giving you another chance. Growing up, my mom had a little You Are Special Today plate, and we used it whenever it was our birthday or we had a graduation or we won a tournament or something like that. And it just kind of was like, oh, we get to use the special plate today. And I am looking for suggestions on, should I put the you are special today, like around the rim? Should I just have it be in the center? If it's around the rim, should I have anything in the center? Um, I was also thinking like you are special and loved and made for greatness or something like that, kind of fitting with our lima bean living little phrase that I always have at the end of this video. So let me know what your suggestions are. Sorry about the laundry in the background. You know, it is all things mom. And drop those suggestions down in the comments. I'm looking forward to seeing your guys' opinion, but yeah, I still kind of don't know exactly what I want and that will take way too much time out of my short little period where Aubrey is taking a nap. Here are some clips of me actually working on it and I will check back in once I have the final product. <laughs>
Okay, so my first one is done. This is what the little mug looks like. I'm really happy with how it turned out and I think my parents are gonna love it. Uh, my party planning siblings <laughs> like it already. So I actually haven't gotten around to finishing my sister's mug yet because I cut out a bunch of other stencils because I don't have all the cups yet. I did put in a Dollar Tree order and those have to arrive before I actually make these. So at least I'm all ready to go. And then right now you probably hear my Cricut doing its work. We're gonna like, I'm making little labels for people's names. And I think what we're gonna do is just kind of tie them to the handle so that people know like whose cup is whose. So I'm kind of like lost in that world right now. I will finish my sister's mug probably tonight while I still have this stuff out, but it's really easy to use the etching cream and I still have to kind of finish her design. So anyways, Aubrey is awake. So I figure I'm gonna go get her and we're still gonna do some crafting. We bought some Dollar Tree painting stuff today. So I'll let you enjoy some of the highlights of that activity and then I will catch up and let you guys know how the rest of this goes once Aubrey's asleep tonight. So I'm checking in, it is pretty late. Aubrey has been asleep and I actually just finished like a bunch of these little name tags that I've been making. So here's Aubrey's little name tag. And I think the idea is gonna be, we're gonna just hook a little string on here and let it hang from the little glass mug. Obviously I don't know if Aubrey will get one or not, but I just made her one anyways. So I've been working on that and I'm like almost done. I still have to kind of cut out, um, like I put like a plastic layer along on top and bottom so that it won't get like wet from any condensation. So I'm still kind of cutting those out and I figured that I'm gonna take a break from cutting and actually work on my final a little mug for the etching cream. And I wanted to show you guys my little review of the Dollar Tree etching cream. It is this tiny little bottle and after mixing like the insides, cause it was kind of clumpy and then liquidy in other parts. So I mixed it together with like a popsicle stick and it only fills this jar like two thirds, maybe half of the way, like somewhere around there. It's not even like to the top here. So you really aren't getting that much, but it is good if you just wanna do like one craft and that be it. Otherwise, I would really suggest investing in some Armor Etch. I've had success with this. I still don't know how the Dollar Tree etching cream is gonna turn out, but you really get like more for your money if you get the big Armor Etch. So I think I mentioned earlier, my sister wanted this mug to have like a bunch of stars on it, and she sent me a little inspiration pick, which I'll have right here. And so I decided that at least for the first kind of three stars that I'm gonna use this etching cream, cause this one says to like wait a half an hour before washing it off while the armor etch is like five to 10 minutes. So I figured I would do this one first and this is gonna be like the little stars that aren't completely solid. And we'll just kind of see how those look. And then I'll probably just do the rest with armor etch. So, Hopefully that this will wash off okay. I will insert a little clip here of what it looked like when I washed it off. And then here I will show you guys how this looked when it was fully completed. 
I'm excited to do some more etching projects in the future. Uh, that one glass plate is definitely one that I'm looking forward to doing. So if you have any suggestions or, you know, kind of the perfect phrase regarding having, you know, being special today and then also incorporating the you are loved and made for greatness, I'd really appreciate your guys' feedback. And then there's other things that we can use this for, like casserole dishes and other glass products. So if you guys have any ideas or want me to do anything for this channel, let me know in the comments below. I'd like to thank you for joining along on this little video today. And if you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. I really appreciate your guys' feedback. If you guys are new here, I would love for you to subscribe and stick around, and I will catch you guys in the next one. to the end of the video. If you didn't know already, every Monday and Friday, you can find motherhood and lifestyle content on this channel. And since us moms have to do it all, that may mean yummy recipes, easy DIYs, mom hacks, cleaning and organization, or just a combo of everything. Please know that you are loved and you are made for greatness, and I will catch you in the next one.